So today we're going to talk a little bit about visual number patterns. So by that I just mean patterns that children can see around them. Uh, it might be patterns of dots, it could be patterns of shapes, it could be patterns that they see out in the, the local environment as well. But I've got a couple of examples here, domino patterns we call them uh, here, but it doesn't just appear on dominoes, you get them on dice and during dice games as well. Children initially won't recognise that that is three, they'll have to learn that. So if you're rolling a dice in a game, get them to count the dots, one, two, three, uh, and get them to practice that. Eventually, they'll just see, and they'll roll a dice, and they'll know that that's two. They'll say that without having to count the dots, and that's the sort of progression that we're looking for in school as well. Um, other patterns that we use um, in school are things like this, where we call it a pairs pattern, where we link them up with a partner. So we start, and they can start seeing the pairs of, of things as well, and they know odd numbers and even numbers from this too, as they learn more and more. A really important uh, type of patterns is actually finger patterns as well. A lot of children will be able to tell you their age, but I wonder if they can show you their age on their fingers, if they're three, or if they're four, or if they're five. Sometimes if you put out a, a, a number of fingers and ask your child to count it, that's quite good as well. Getting them to touch count each finger as they go, it's a great way to practice that skill too. And as they get more and more confident, they can start by using two hands, adding up the numbers as well, or counting from five, knowing that's five, and going six, seven, eight, and you get a real progression with that too. These are all really important skills that help with the wider numeracy that your child is learning at school too. And we'll see you next time.